Bhangra could invade the global popular uh, uh, universe, could uh, Chakki, uh, could Bhojpuri be far behind? After all, it's the prestige of UP and Bihar at stake. If second generation British Asians or British Punjabis could uh, transform their rustic music from the farms, uh, from the villages of Punjab to global dance music, an older diaspora, descendants of an older diaspora from UP and Bihar, who were taken as indentured workers to the plantation, British plantations in the 19th century, produced a new form of music based on the music they carried, uh, carried to the plantations from their homelands in UP and Bihar to produce a new form of music called chutney. Unlike uh, Bhangra, chutney uh, included all the genres, not just folk, but also devotional, bhajans, and so on. Let us look at the reinvention of uh, traditional and traditional music from the regions of UP and Bihar in the British uh, plantation economies of West Indies by, uh, s uh, by the descendants of indentured workers to these plantations, which is now called chutney. And chutney promises to be the new rage in the global popular scape. Chutney music is a form indigenous to the Southern Caribbean, popular in Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, Suriname, Jamaica, and the rest of the Caribbean. And chutney music is a mix of Bhojpuri music, Indian folk music, Bhojpuri classical music, bhajan, kavali, with Western music and local music. And it's increasingly becoming popular in Fiji, South Africa, Mauritius, Canada, the United Kingdom, the United States, Australia, New Zealand, and India. Uh, this music has been created by Indo-Caribbean people whose ancestors were from Bihar and UP, and uh, it was who were taken as indentured workers by the British to replace laborers on sugar plantations after emancipation. Now, this uh, music it was established in the late 50s within temples, wedding houses, and cane fields of the Indo-Caribbean, and there were no recordings of the music until 1968, when Ramdev Chato from Suriname uh, recorded um, uh, an early rendition of Betha Gana called King of Suriname. And this recording made him a household name with East Indians, not just in Suriname, but throughout the Caribbean. All the songs were religious in nature, but they had throughout a dance track with danceable tunes. And for the first time, like British Asians, Indo-Caribbeans had music that spoke to them, which was not European or American in style. And this was a major breakthrough for East Indian Caribbeans, even though the fame was short-lived. Let us listen to a better Ghana by uh, Ramdev Chato. This is an original battle. Maya Mori Barisa Badasi Gasivari. Barisa Badasi Gasivari. Even though it's very religious, it's very hummable and very danceable. So this was uh, Ramdev Chato, whose uh, who's, uh, better Ghana uh, was the predecessor of Chutney music. Let us move on from there to uh, 
the 60s. From the 50s, we go on to the 60s, and in 1968, we have a female better Ghana singer called Dropati, whose, whose album Let's Sing and Dance, made up of traditional wedding songs, became huge hits with the East Indian Caribbean community. Let's now listen to Dropati and her better Ghana, which is very different from that of Ramdev. Let's listen to her Ghana now. Bharat meeting Ram in the forest and it's still very hummable, very catchy. Draupadi, the foremother of Chutney music, who uh, became extremely popular and her songs were huge hits with the East Indian Caribbean community. The turning point for Chutney music came in 1970 when the record producer Moin Muhammad recorded Sundar Popo with Harry Mahabir's BWIA Orchestra. Now, Sundar Popo modernized the music by including Western guitars in early electronics into his mu music, and Popo became known as the King of Chutney. Let's look. Uh, let's listen to one of his most popular numbers, Nana Nani, now, and you tell us what you think about it. <laughs> नानी घर से निकले धीरे धीरे चलती गई मधुरा के दुकान में दोनों जाके बैठे गए नाना चले आगे आगे नानी को भी है नाना ड्रिंक एंड वाइन तो नाना ने ड्रिंक एंड वाइन नाना चले आगे आगे नानी को भी है नाना ड्रिंक एंड वाइन तो नाना ने ड्रिंक एंड वाइन Nana riding bicycle, a nanny ringing bell. Nana riding bicycle, a nanny ringing bell. Nanny lock the honor, they fall inside a well. Me nana so careless, he don't give nanny drown. But they jump in the bank, he hold on to white one. Nana chill, they are gay, nanny going big hand. Nana drinking white one, and nanny drinking one. So that was Sundar Popo, but although Sundar Popo has been given, uh, has been named the um, king of chutney, it was, uh, it was another singer, an earlier singer, singer called uh, the art of singing songs in the chutney style was really introduced by a singer called Lakhan Kariya from the town of Felicity who preceded Sundar Popo. Other artists such as Ricky Jay followed in his footsteps by adding new instrumentation into their music. Now let's li listen to Lakhan, Lakhan Karya and see how his, his singing preceded or anticipated Sundar Popo's success. 
unless we are listening to Aji and Aji. Which again means great grandfather and grandmother. So Nana and Nani and great grandfather and mother are very popular. So that was Aji and Aja by Lakhan Kariya and uh, we move on to the next Chutney music till then remained a local music in Trinidad, Guyana and Suriname. However, this was all about a change and Chutney music was to become an industry. In the 70s, produced and marketed by and distribution of Chutney music fell into the hands of a 17 year old record producer and distributor named Rohit Jagesar. Jagesar set a higher standard for chutney music and took it worldwide by expanding the old markets and opening up newer international markets for the most beloved genre. Jagesar's production, marketing and distribution network handle recordings of such greats as Abel Pet Peters, Ram Dev Chato, Draupadi, Lakhan Karya, Sam Budram, Lily John, Isaac Yankaran, Anand Yankaran, Premati Bhim, Sony Man, uh, Sundar Popo, the eight and the eighties Mastana Bahar album series, BWIA Orchestra, Atiya, Babla and Kanchan among other greats chutney stars of the era. Now during the early part of the decade, Jagesar, Kanchan and Babla, some of you uh, might have heard Kanchan and Babla because their music was also very popular in India uh, in the Aries. Kanchan and Babla would fuse other world beat music to create Kuch Garbar Hai, the biggest selling album of the genre in 1980s. Uh, highest chart position achieved on over 50 radio and print music charts in over 15 countries including the US, UK and Africa. Jagesar followed this with Babla and Kanchan Live in 1985 and numerous other hits during the decade. He would also go on to release the first ever Chutney Music CD. Let's listen to Kuch Karbar Hai. So that was Kanchan Babla who created a sensation with the number Kuch Garbar Hai. Mm -hmm. 
And from Kanchan and Babla, let us move ahead. Uh, Jagesar followed this, I have explained with live performances that it was in the 90s that Jagesar went on to produce 10 of the most memorable chutney hits with Kanchan, the classic album Legume Na Raja, the biggest selling album in the history of the chutney musical genre. And uh, he recorded the album in the summer of 1991 at Western Outdoor Studios in Mumbai, Indi um, India, on Aten and Film, making this the first Chutney, Chutney album recorded jet, uh, digitally. Let's li listen to this number by Kanchan. Since this is the biggest hit, we might listen to more of it. singing Lego Mina Raja. Jagesar, um, as we saw, uh, uh, made this first chat Chutney album and 85 also Chutney music also got its first big impact commercially. So, it seems to coincide with the emergence of Bhangra in UK when Chutney music also got its first big impact commercially in live concert performances during the 80s. Instead of parties, it is concert performances in the 80s when Jagesa took the music into large stadiums and cricket fields in selected countries all over the world. The 1985 revenue from these concerts surpassed US $1 million for the first time in the history of the genre and Jagesar signed Kanchan to a contract, contract with Johnson & Johnson to produce and promote the popular brand in a most memorable television commercial that very same year. After the success of Jagesar's Kuchgar Barhe, other Chutney artists began to fuse Calypso, Soca and American Rhythm and Blues naming their music Indian Saka. And the most important of these artists who emerged in these years, now this is, uh, this is in the era of glo globalization that Chutney acquires a new uh, dimension, a new avatar, it emerges as Indian Saka. And the person who heralds this revolution is a young female artist named Drupati Ramgunai from Trinidad who emerged on this new scene. Now initially when she initially she was criticized for being a dutti, uh, rude or crude and cruel because she wrote about sex and alcohol. This was nothing new as she was following in the footsteps of the Calypsians who they sing about issues in their life or what is happening within the community. Drupati was later given the title Queen of Chutney. By the end of the 80s, Chani, Chutney music was also being introduced in Indian films and in the Netherlands, a new artist named Atiya exploded on the Chutney scene on Rohit Records. 
Now, I let's listen to Draupadi. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, let's go back to Draupadi. Yes, let's listen to Draupadi now. One of his one of her popular numbers. So uh, here's Drupadi performing at Chutney Vibrations in 2015, and you can see the kind of ladies and gentlemen, ladies and singers, the world of 2015, and the following that Drupadi has across the world, the kind of hoots and screaming she's greeted with at Chutney Vibrations 2015. One of Drupati's very popular albums, it's called Daru by Drupati. recorded album and uh, what happens to chutney today what is chutney the modern chutney artist writes lyrics either in in, in in either caribbean hindustani other indian languages or english then lays them over beats derived from indian tolak beats mixed with the sokha beat chutney is an up tempo song accompanied by bass bass guitar drum machine, electric guitar, synthesizer, dollock, harmonium, and tantal tasa drums, tasa drums, played in rhythms, imported from filmy calypso or saka. Early chutney we saw was religious in nature, sung by mainly women in Tr Trinidad and Tobago, and it's very unusual in the predominance of female musicians in its early years, although it's more gender mixed now. So unlike Bhangra, Chutney is another folk music, folk uh, uh, music uh, uh, which has been reinvented and it's dominated by female singers rather than male singers. And who are the major Chutney artists? Let's look at them. Sam Budram, Ricky Jai, Rakesh Yankaran, Devanan Gattu, Nisha Benjamin, Hira Lal Rampartap, the late Ram Dev Chato, who composed the Surinamese be based Betagana in his album, The Star Melodies of Ram Dev Chato. 
and the best known are examples of chutney music are Sundar Popo's Fulori Ben Chutney or Sundar Popo's first recorded song Nani and Nana, Samba Drums, Lala Na Khuse, Sunny Mounds, Lota Lal, Vedesh Sukhus, Dhal Belly Indian, Anand Shankaran's Yo Yo, Nishan's The Hitman, Prabhu's Mr. Shankar, Ravi B's Rum is Melova and Ricky J's Mort or additionally K's albums. So this is the chutney scene and this is how it looks like today. The chutney Sakha Monarch performing in Skinner Park in San Fernando on 15 February 2014 which had 20 of the biggest chutney soccer artists in the world and Indian in East Indian music in the West Indies we have a book by pa Peter Manuel who talks about East Indian music in the West Indies. I conclude by finding out if there were any collaborations with traditional Bhojpuri singers with Chutney musician. And I found that many of the Bhojpuri singers had indeed collaborated with Chutney performers. Let us look at some of the Chutney song. Uh, from between Bhojpuri singers, Bhojpuri wedding song and uh, this is, um, uh, let us listen to the Bhojpuri song not by a Bhojpuri singer but to talk, uh, to, uh, uh, to work on my uh, hunch that uh, Sundar Popo and uh, many of the earlier singers do, uh, do sing um, did sing Bhojpuri, pure Bhojpuri songs. Let us listen to a uh, Bhojpuri song by Sundar Pop. So that was Bhojpuri uh, um, singers like Manoj Tiwari uh, and I am not able to find the recordings. But uh, what has happened because of the popularity of Bhojpuri music globally, the uh, India based singers like Manoj Tiwari and uh, several others, uh, pure Bhojpuri singers have found a new following university uh, universally because of the uh, because of the popularity of chutney music the traditional bhojpuri music has also received a new philip uh, um, not only among the diasporas but among other people in the world and these bhojpuri performers are regularly regularly invited to go and perform not only in west indies but in other parts of the world. So here we have a Bhojpuri wedding song being sung in the Trinidad Chutney Soka by Patrohan Maharaj. So just like uh, uh, Bhangra, in the case of Chutney also, the hybrid Chutney productions by, uh, uh, by descendants of Indian uh, the uh, Indian workers who migrated to uh, West Indies in the 19th century, they have also created a cult or uh, an interest in the pure Bhojpuri music which is being produced in India and has led to the globalization and increasing visibility of uh, performers from India who now, some, some of whom have also collaborated with, uh, with the uh, with performers from West Indies. Let us look at the uh, filmy version of uh, chutney music and how like everything else Hindi films tend to uh, tend to uh, uh, cannibalize anything that is popular in the world and chutney music finds itself in Hindi films.
So, this is Chutney Music meets Bollywood films. Uh, Chutney meets Bollywood. Here's one of the Bollywood songs in a Chutney style. Cashing in on the popularity of Chutney music worldwide, Bollywood has been very quick in uh, in uh, cannibalizing this music by incorporating in the Bollywood song and dance sequence. So we have a Chutney song featuring in um, the, the Bang 2, which has uh, made Chutney into Indian pop, has entered the Indian popular musical uh, landscape as well. Um, A hybridization of Chutney music, uh, of uh, 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 Bhojpuri music in the diasporas, uh, destroyed uh, uh, destroyed uh, uh, the original Bhojpuri music. Doesn't look like it seems to have given it a new lease of life. And let's listen to some pure uh, Bhojpuri music from one of the most popular Bhojpuri singers. Manoj Tiwari. So let's listen to uh, one of the popular Bhojpuri songs. Hmm? 
दरभंगिया भौजी का ए दरभंगिया भौजी अपना बहनी से ब्याह करा देना So Pujpuri has not sig uh, Jatni hasn't really signaled the death of pure Bhojpuri songs. It seems to have created a new market for pure Bhojpuri songs, not only in India but across the world due to the popularity of uh, Chutney. Pure Bhojpuri has also won new audience across the world. So let's look at people dancing at Chutney Glow to have them. Let's move the chairs out. We can close this session on Chutney at the Chutney party and people dancing there to see how Chutney is going to on the way to becoming the new rage in the popular cultural scene. <laughs> Chutney is also played in most clubs in global cities across the world, showing that perhaps the next big thing in popular music is Chutney. <laughs> 